guys, we're gonna do our ranking video for Not Scary Farm 2021. And we're gonna do it in order of the least scariest mazes to the scariest, which by no means means they're our favorite or least favorite. It's just in order of terror. Your number eight. For me, the least scariest was definitely the one in Calico Ghost Town. Origins. Origins. Okay. I thought it was really cool and I felt like I was walking through a story, but I felt like it was definitely more of that than it was actually like terrifying. You know what? I was still scared and things still popped out at me a lot, but it wasn't, like I said, it's just what I thought was the scariest and that was just the least scary for me this time. I would agree with that. I do love Origins as an experience and I do did have like a ton of fun in that one. And it was really fun like looking for the different like Sarah Marshall things with her as like the witch ghosts and all that stuff. Definitely. But it, it wasn't, it didn't make me like oh my quiver God, and die. I'm like I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. It, it was more like, oh, I wanna see all this cool stuff. Yeah, and every once in a while, oh, something popped out of me. Yeah, exactly. definitely. For me, definitely the seventh scariest maze was in the depths. That one was super cool, underwater, loved it, super scary. But again, I wasn't terrified for my life. I was scared and I don't think I wanna go in the water again for a little bit, but I've been more scared, I'll say it. Yeah, I think that it was also like, for me, you guys know that The Depths was like one of my favorites last year, but it's never as like, it doesn't get your heart going as much as some of the other mazes, even though it's one of the most fun because it's like so interesting. much fun. It's like you're going underwater and it's really cool. And I, I do wish also, um, I might have ranked it a little bit higher on the list, but I feel like they had less shark heads this time. And those <laughs> are what got me last time is those shark mask face people. They had a couple. See, for me, it was the part they were where, last time. For me, it was the part where you couldn't see anything on the ground, and then there were, like, the sea creatures coming out, because you yeah. couldn't see where they were, and I ran into the wall at that point. Just... So then, what was your sixth scariest maze? Definitely Dark Entities. Okay, it was the same for me. Something about space and the unknown always gets to me, but oh it doesn't quite feel like reality, because I've never been to space. It, there is like a little bit you have to like suspend your disbelief a little bit more with that one even though they do a really great job with the monsters yeah I definitely think the whole space thing but the effects like I said the lighting in there was so insane by far yeah. the best lights I also like though when mazes have kind of a sense of humor I think actually my favorite part was that robot that's like I'm gonna fix this patient and it's just really clear <laughs> that he, there's no this like there's its innards are all over the place. There's no way you're saving that guy. It's just like more bandages and like. <laughs> I so I like I like when mazes like put in little comical things that are just like it's still gross and it's still horrifying. But that was really funny. <laughs> Super fair. Okay, I think we're at number five, the fifth scariest maze at Not Scary Farm. It's a really tough one. This one for me has got to be Dark Ride. That's fair. That's right. you know, it's always hard for me because Dark Ride is one of my favorites, but I think number five is definitely a solid spot for it. Yeah, it's a solid middle, super scary. I felt like I was really in a maze, which was like, oh! It does feel like you're really on like an abandoned ride. Yeah, it and does. it feels like you're in a maze, which is super fun. And that one for me, like I couldn't really tell where people were popping out. Yeah. It just felt new for some reason, and that's what I loved about it. See, and it, it's not like new for me because like I've been through it a couple oh. times, but I always love it and I always love coming back to it. But you're right, it does deserve to be like in that spot. I think number five is a really good spot for yeah. Dark Ride. Especially when we're just talking in terms of scary. When you're talking just in terms of scary, because like the people who come out at you, especially the monkeys. Yeah, the monkeys, the monkeys get me every time. But I think there are some spots that aren't as like capturing as the monkeys and the clowns. Yeah. Oh, the clowns. The clowns. Ugh. Okay, I think we're to no, number four. four. Oh. So what was your number four? For me, I think my number four was paranormal. Paranormal yeah. like, It was super cool. I think the first time I've been in a maze that was that interactive. Like it was yeah. fun because you felt like you were part of the taping of a show. Well, and it feels which was really super like, new to me. It feels new. It feels like there's like a, because 
like ghost hunting is like a real thing. Like, yeah. It's a thing that's current and right now. And so it actually, there's like a sense. You feel like, like you're about to go ghost hunting. Exactly. So it's like, it's kind of fun in that like, you're getting to like really go through this cool experience. You also didn't really know what you were getting into in terms of a theme, which I thought was really fun. Yeah. The other ones, it's super clear. It's gonna be like a carnival or it's gonna be a ghost town. This one, I was like, I have no idea what these ghosts are gonna look like. I have no idea like what the scenery is gonna be at all. They said something about a hospital, but then the hospital starts changing decades. Like, it was super unpredictable and very interactive. So I absolutely love that about it. And I think something that's always like the scariest part of paranormal for me is that ending. Like when you end up like in the penitentiary in the past or the sanitarium. Sorry, when you end up in the sanitarium <laughs> in the past, it's just really jarring for me. And I always find period pieces really scary. Yeah. So I thought that that was I thought that that was fantastic. Past is scary for everyone. <laughs> oh All my right. gosh, we're on to number three. We're already. on to number three. We're, we're in the top three. three. <laughs> All right, let's see. So excited. I think for me, I think for me, this is gonna be an unpopular opinion because I know you're gonna disagree with me on this, but for me, the third scariest was the lax maze. Uh, yeah, I definitely disagree. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was just that like, I disagree. Okay, so it was by far the like most disturbing. Oh, like yeah. there were so many My body skin parts was crawling. The skin was so gross. All the masks they had on of like other people's skin and the wax. Super freaky, super weird, very scary. But I think the one thing that didn't make me quiver or make it my top two is just that for me, it didn't feel super, like I just feel like I'm not gonna be melted into wax. Like maybe that's just like an unpopular opinion and I should be scared of that. But that's the only reason it wasn't one of my top two because it was really scary. See, I would, <laughs> I would definitely put Waxwork top two. It's so disturbing for me. The faces are just uncanny and weird and too smooth. I think what it, it, it is for me, I think what it is for me is that it reminds me of dolls, even though they're like wax figures like in Madame Tussauds. Like, they remind me, they remind me of those like creepy dolls that you just like your grandma has had in her house forever and that just She woke. is afraid of dolls, that's I'm her one so thing. I'm so afraid of dolls. Me chainsaws her dolls. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, there's no way that I can, I can put, I, there's no way I can put it lower than number two. I actually don't know that it was my number one this year, but it was my number two. Okay, then um, if that's your number two, what's your number three? My number three is also gonna be super unpopular. What? Uh, yeah, it's Mesmer. Um, what? I know, I know. Well, it, it, it was by far the most amazing experience. This so year. cool. It was, it was a beautiful maze. It was so well done. The animatronics, the light, everything is so new and mm -hmm. wild and crazy and amazing. But it wasn't, it wasn't my top two in terms of scary. I think that it was my favorite maze to walk through this year. Okay, I- But it wasn't the scariest one for me. I agree me. with that and I'll transition that into my, <laughs> my second scariest maze, which is your third, is Mesmer. So for me, it was the same thing. For me, I think it was a lot scarier just because like, I don't know, something about being disoriented really freaks me out. So I think that's why for me it's number two. Not okay. quite number one, but second scariest by far. Because it put you really off balance. It did, like I especially like sometimes get a little dizzy. And when I left that maze, I was like, where am I? Like was the floor, the What's ceiling, going what is on? going on? Like I'm scared there's gonna be a carnival person coming out of me soon. And then you walk right from there to the carnival scare zone. So for me, the whole experience was so scary. I would say that actually Waxworks is my number two. Okay. Um, and it's for all of the reasons well, that I said. not your number one this year. It's not my number one this year. Okay. It flipped a little bit. I mean, I, it was a little bit brighter this year, but mm -hmm. it was still just as disturbing as it was last year. So disturbing. However, <laughs> I think my number one is good old pumpkin eater. <gasps> Me I, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just like, okay, so that one is one of those mazes, like Dark Ride, every single year is not disappointing. It's amazing, it's fun, but there are some years 
where pumpkin eater is just the standout. And this that was, was one, this was one this of those year. years. It was like everything was just so perfect in the theme. It was so scary. There was like pumpkin guts falling on the ceiling with you. There were yes. rats, which is what really freaked me out. There were rats and they yeah. had like the sound of rats, which is so distinct and so clear and so terrifying. It just makes your skin crawl. Yeah, same with the insects they had in it. It was by far the grossest, by far the scariest, and by the far the best theme. Yeah. Like everything about it was so cohesive, so well, cool. You knew exactly real. what was happening, but you didn't know where people were coming out of. Like it was just honestly terrifying. Well, and I think the the years where Pumpkin Eater is the best and where it stands out are the ones where it just it really feels real. It yeah. feels like you're getting lost in it. It feels I was like, I don't know how I got dark. in that pumpkin, but I'm never getting out. Yeah. It was crazy. You just feel stuck. And I think and it was so like dark and like freaky. Yeah. <laughs> you just had lost no idea it. who was gonna pop out of you and when and where. Yeah. So I think that far. pumpkin eater is this year's number, number one, one scariest maze. maze. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what your scariest maze was at Not Scary Farm this year. Yes. We hope you enjoyed and happy Not Scary Farm. Happy Not Scary Farm. <laughs> Gotta get out of here before we get we get stuck in the past. I think they might. I wouldn't be mad at that thing. Hey, enjoy! <laughs> huh? Hi. You bother me? Why you just do it, huh? Oh, I am sorry. Don't do it. Be hitting those things, huh? Oh, yeah. they're, they're they're doing okay. Look at her pants, huh? <laughs> Where's she going? <laughs> <laughs> Feels so crazy. Good. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> You're gonna see about a man about a dog. Have you seen him? I, I, I haven't. You know, the giggle water? What? No. You haven't seen him? No. Don't tell anyone. Okay. We won't tell anybody. Secret's safe with us. And all of you. <laughs>